San Ramon Skate Park. What's going on everyone? We're here today at the San Ramon Skate Park and we are going to give you a comprehensive tour of this skate park and let you know if it's good, if it's bad, if it's ugly, if it's pretty, or if it's just like Chris McNugget. An enigma. A facade. Do you know what a facade is? You know what I want to do? I want to get a Pokeball uh -huh. and I want to throw it at you. Okay. And then do special effects to get you into the Pokeball. I think in real life. If I had a Pokeball in real life, <laughs> okay. I would do that. So you gotta get me a little weaker for that. I'm not putting up without a fight. And I got ghost Pokemon on my side. Let's go. All right. So I was doing a little bit of research about this skate park. So we're gonna go take a seat and I wanna share you. So bear with me for 30 seconds. You say you wanna share me? So check it out. Ch ch check it out. This is courtesy of uh, DanvilleSanRamon.com. This is not sponsored by the city of San Ramon. This is just because I thought it'd be interesting. I'm really trying to figure out the difference between skate park prices and see, hey, what's expensive, what's cheap, what's good, what's bad, and see the correlation. And hopefully all of you guys track with me and uh, start to understand the difference. So uh, this skate park right behind me had a budget of $400,000, but the final project actually only ended up being $293,000. But check this out. Remember when we went to Turlock Skate Park, that park was only $250,000. And then we come here, and this park does not look as good and is 43, count it, $43,000 more. So is it worth it? We're gonna find out today. But I just think it's really interesting that this price is way more expensive. Does it make sense? Leave it in the comments below. We wanna know. You know why it makes sense? Why does it make sense? Because San Ramon is a nicer area and cost of land is probably higher. No, I don't like how smart you are, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I mean, and I just now I just feel like an idiot for just saying all that. But Because <laughs> I was just trying to stir a conversation and, and now, you know, you're just 100% right. And now it's just, leave, leave it in the comments below. Leave in the below. comments below if Gabe should continue <laughs> starting conversations. This is why I'm not a realtor. You know, this is why I, I make skate videos because I love it. If you can help Chris become a realtor, leave it in the comments below. All right, so first thing <laughs> is not actually in the park. What are we looking at here, Chris? Uh, we're looking at City Hall. Oh, well, that's not what and I was And now when at. I turn my head, I'm looking at this staircase right here. Okay. It is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven means... I'm gonna caveman it. <laughs> Yo! You don't know how big that looked on camera. Oh, I do, because I it, it looked big from up there. It just compressed your back and you lost a half an inch of height. I need all the inches I can get. Oh, actually, yeah? I've been <laughs> I've been practicing horse stance and it is actually opening up opening up my back a lot and I, I feel good I feel relieved so if you have back problems or you're like your legs hurt your knees hurt look up horse stance and practice that it'll help you a lot I'm telling you I, I'm not trying to offend anyone but when I think of horse stance I just imagine you on all fours and then going like this it looks like this so you have your feet spread like that and you're like you're like doing this basically it's this is bad form but what this does is it activates your sacral energy and then it opens up everything you'll just look it up okay that is so much less cool than what i said <laughs> all right first thing i see is the braille team and our guests sean and bo over there should we start up top you can start wherever you want I, I don't where know do you want to go you know what let me let me start this tour off right okay because what we're looking at right here is a ginormous flat ground section just a nice slab of concrete slightly at an angle to pick up speed. And I think this is a good place to start because, you know, you come to the skate park, it's empty like this. Practice your flat ground if no one's around and you're not in anyone's way. So I'm gonna do a flat ground trick. I was just gonna say, this is your type of skate park because it's flat. This is like perfect for you. You know, see, the joke works when I say it, but then when you say it, it just makes me feel sad. Yeah, it's because it's the honest truth, I'm sorry. Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Okay. What you got? Very good. Remember in Patterson, I requested you do the trick. So now I want to see you do me. a tray flip. Keep tray flips dead, man. Hey, mm -hmm. how's it going? Always varial flip this, varial flip that. Never tray flip this. Never tray flip that. Time. Oh, your board feels weird. That was good. <laughs> First try. That was really good. Does that count? That counts. I think you could do one better though. To be honest. What about this? That is the hardest trick in all of existence. All right. Let me try one. All right. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm over it. I crushed my toe. Really? Oh, I crushed my toe so hard. Dang. Ah. If you lose that toe, you're going to have to get a Roberto oh, and change dude. your name to a Roberto. Ow. Oh, why didn't you just let me Dude, let you're, me you're like that scene where Peter Griffin like gets hurt and he's like, ah. or I, don't, I forget how it goes, but it's just like, yeah, that's your Peter Griffin right now. All right, Gabe, we're, we're skating flat ground. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rate it, but I need to do a trick. What do you think I should do? Yeah, well, I guess I need to rate it then. Okay, what's your we're moving on. No, I need to skate this. All or right, is fine. It... Do a hard flip. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Flat ground? It's really good. This is 9.7 out of 10. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 because it's slightly downhill and I deduced a half a point because I crushed my toe and it really hurt. You know what's good about being downhill or like slightly not level? You don't have to push as much. So you save energy, you save it for the tricks. I, I literally just made that up right now. So I need to defend my score. <laughs> Let's move up here. So we're right here at this ledge. As you can see, it's very nice and ledge-like. It's a nice flat, long ledge. It's legendary. And we've called upon Uzi Walker Sir! to do a select trick here at this ledge. You want to see him do a what? Backside tail slide. What do you, you think about that? You want to see a backside tail slide. If you land it first try, I want to see a front smith after. I'm going to come give you a backside tail slide. Five minutes. <laughs> what are you, bone saw? <laughs> From Spider-Man. Yeah. The bone saw. <laughs> Alright, Ooze, you went from I hate this ledge to landing your trick perfectly. Tell me, what do you think of this ledge? It's a real piece of work. Why? You never know what you're gonna get. It's like every time you go up to hit it, it's like a gamble. <laughs> Throw the dice. Are you gonna stick? Are you gonna slip out? Is the ledge gonna be perfect? Is it gonna be terrible? Is there gonna be berries on your grip? Nobody knows. And what would you rate this ledge? One to ten. Two question marks out of ten. You gotta give it a number. Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. Leave it in the comments below. Do you agree with that rating? And would you have been okay with two question marks out of 10? What's up, Mo? Hi. How are you doing? I can't believe he's cleaning the leaf. Dang. What emotions are invoked when you look at this here, whatever well, this is? This is the only hip you can skate. But then like when you roll away, you can fall. Yeah. <laughs> like if you go front side. So if I go like front, 270 i Dang might just slip out <laughs> or the way i was thinking of skating is roll up and just manning the top okay. the other side so you could even walk it when you're like manning like, test out the first key the thing i love about this series is that we have to touch every obstacle here at the skate park so a lot of times these guys things that they don't skate they have to figure out new inventive ways to skate it to figure out how to push through that boundary oh Maybe I should have picked the stairs. <laughs> oh! No! I saw the dark and I wanted to... I mean, I... The dark? You I saw the dark. I saw you the... Saw I don't know what's been going on with me lately, but I'm combining words before I even say it. Dog and bark. Dark. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I saw the dog and I really wanted to bark. And then I was like, nah. I'm, I'm like in the middle of a trick, don't get sidetracked, and boom, you're lost think, the balance. You're thinking too many thoughts about what you're gonna say, and then it's just getting in the way of what you're gonna say. And that's happening while I'm over here in the middle of a trick. I know, you should be trying to land the trick. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually just happened on the the side, like the, the profile side. I was yeah. like, oh, what's that? Honestly, you should have just barked at the dog mid-trick. Let's go! Wow. You held on to that for dear life. Honestly, <laughs> I have no idea how I kept the speed. I have no idea how I got into that awkward position of a balance and still made it over you here. You almost went into front 5-0. I almost, yeah, you're right, you're right. I challenged myself, you know? Challenge accepted, challenge defeated. And now you have one more task, which is to rate this obstacle on a scale from one to 10. You can see who I wanted to feel like today. Ooh. That's why I chose the obstacle. Dang. I'm challenging myself. I want to get better. Sure. So this obstacle is actually really cool. It's pretty steep. What are we rating it out of one, one to five, one, one to, to ten. ten? One to ten. Um, I'd say like six and a half. Okay. Just because like you have this obstacle over here that you could fall into. Because like imagine if I wanted to get out early, I would have probably fell into this. Like I have this much amount of space to have that landing to, you know, control my board. Yeah and like feel comfortable. So I'd say six and a half. If that wasn't there, it'd be solid nine for sure. Fair. All right, Glow, what's going on, my man? What's up, my man? You are here today. I'm in beautiful San Ramon. The sun is directly on me right now. Shout out the sun. Shout out the sun. Ricky gave me this little animal. <laughs> and today, 
we have not only one of the most beautiful ledges in world history, right here, San Ramon, California, right here. Nice, beautiful ledge. You would say you probably have a, a lot of experience skating ledges, yeah? Yeah. Look, so, so you get, get a little wax in. So I think you're a pretty high authority to give this ledge a nice review after a trick, right? Definitely. What trick are you thinking of doing, or do you do you want a suggestion? What trick? You want to see. Hmm. Any trick will work on it. You're right. Well, my only thing is that there's a rail right yeah, there, that, that, so that's hey, interesting. So, hey, San Ramon, y'all did a beautiful job on these ledges, but they come off into a rail. Come on now, hey, we won't say too much, but you get the memo, you know what I mean? No, I know side would be sick. Oh, oh my first <laughs> try! Yeah! Wow! I got stuck, I waxed it. Hey, I ain't done a nolly crook all day. Dude! I was first heat. That's when you know you got a good ledge because you just pop, you hoping you get into it and you just start sliding, then you land. That's one of the best feelings. Let's get another one. Whoa! Oh, bro, that is buttery. All right, now give it your glow rating on a scale from one to 10, your honest, wholesome review. I think it's about, with the circumstances, hey man, with the sun shining, the sun's feeling bright today. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, see this crack yeah, what Rick said? The crack, the rail. The yeah. narrowness of the ledge, man. See, I like to spin out or do some. If I was to do a back tail shove land wheel bite, ah, <laughs> man, <laughs> that, that would be a terrible sight. So the ledge itself is a 10, but everything around it is a five. So I so give it- 7.5, I guess? 7.5. All right. Let's go, my, my dog. My man nailed it. 7.5, but hey, if you got this, no excuse. You could do whatever you want, man. I'm just saying, this lovely rail right here. It's a cool rail, too, so can't hate. It's all good. Shout out the green wax. Bam. I think I just see the classics. Bullet side 50, feeble crook. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You get one trick, Rick. Whoa, one okay, trick, well, Rick. It's my favorite trick, crook. All right. Ooh. Dang, Rick. Oh. Hey, but you know what? When you were rolling up, the crook was, you landed it perfectly. But I did. Oh! I was just thinking. I, I did hear one thing crack. right, right before. You got kum kum. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, let's do a fifty-fifty. You can't really skate a rail and not do a fifty-fifty. Got it. All right. Rating of isolated rail itself. I'll go with an eight. It does go slightly downhill and get higher up. Not a huge fan of that. I would like a consistent height. Also, the surroundings, there's a couple cracks. The gentle downhill is okay, but like O'Glow said, you could definitely slam. Say you do a kickflip, feeble kick about, you wheel by right here. Yep. You could literally fall off the edge of the well. Dang. You could go at all scenario two, you go like this. Yo. Yo. Dang, nice t shirt. What's up? What's your name? Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What's up, Sean? Nice to meet you. Hey! Hey, show me your grip tape. Not abrasive, but I messed up the... Dang, thing. how does it go? I don't know what's the difference. I like it, I prefer it more. It doesn't mess up my shoes. Yeah. Why, hello again, Chris Hi. McNugget. We meet again. We meet again, yeah. and it is... Uh, Out of all the people you could be meeting up with right now, you and I right here, yeah, crazy. right now, at this ledge, crazy. this ledge. Crazy. It is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, I look at the ledge. Good height, it's wide enough to manual. The angle iron looks good. All four sides, just in case you want to get some all terrain, you go that way or whatever. Well, the layout here seems kind of tight though. So I guess if I just come straight for the ledge, it's not a big deal. But if I'm trying to like skate that ledge going this way, it's kind of sketch with the rail here. But I like the height. I wish it was a little longer. Let's see how it grinds. I got yeah. a request. Okay, what is it? Backsmith. Okay, that's the hard. I, I just, I just explained why that was the, the sketchy part and you're like, all right, do it. Well, I was going to say right. front blunt, but I feel like that's harder to curve into. I'd rather backsmith. Yep. <laughs> For sure. So as I was saying about the other side, if I'm going this way, there's a chance. And then I just explode into a billion pieces. But uh, let's try and not do that. Right here. No worries. I'll, I'll stand right here. And if you're falling towards it, I'll get out of the way. So you hit it. All right. Yep. Well, that was terrible. That wasn't a, a mate. If you think it was terrible, leave it in the comments below. Is that back lip? I back lip, and I thought I was gonna hit this and explode into a billion pieces. It was a back smith slide, basically. It was a back smlip. Back smlip. Back smlip. Yeah. Oh. Dang, brother, moss dip, moss dip. Bug just attacked me. 
That's how I feel when I land a back smith. I just, that's how I feel on the inside. Well done. Ledge is good. It grinds great. I didn't have to wax it one bit. Does it slide though? We got to slide it. Front blunt. <laughs> nope. Front tail? Front tail 270. I was going to go to fakie, so he's just, he's just one up in me all day today. Oh, the angle's so weird. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes I forget you're pro for a reason. Oh yeah, sometimes I forget I'm pro too. <laughs> uh, good ledge, I hate the angle. So there's all this room over here. If they would have made this a little wider and move these over, even two feet would have made a great difference. But uh, still, as I showed, it's skatable. It grinds good, it slides good. As far as its position in uh, relativity to the other obstacles, I'm gonna give it a 7.1. And one final uh, question. What plants are these right here? Those are mallows. You can put them in your smoothies. You can actually eat those. Um, they're really high in nutrients. And uh, yeah. And one final question for you, Chris McNugget. What? You said mallow? Mallow. Mallow? Like, like marshmallow. Or no. Will yeah, you, it is like marshmallow. Will you eat a mallow? No. Oh, fine. Oh. If he was hungry, he'd probably eat it though. All right, entire Braille team. This I feel like is probably the best obstacle here. I think we should have a team sesh on this. Yeah. Because there's a lot you can do. It's a really long curved ledge. Good curve, good angle, yeah. good length, good height. Let's get it. Hey, Hello, gentlemen. Hi. You'd like to introduce yourself. Uh, hey, I'm Bo. Bo Sluter. Hello, I'm Sean Snow. <laughs> at Street Genius on Instagram. Street Let's Genius. Go with the oh, plug. Right. Where are you from? Skateboards. Yeah. Just follow me. Alright. Oh, oh no! Woo dude, dude. No, dude. It's, the, it's the face of fear for me, bro. As soon as you start going, your face went. Yes! Push, push. Oh, he's got some real speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you almost <laughs> zen headbutted the camera. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh no! I still messed up. You got stuck on the fence. Hardest trick. Yeah. 
Let's go there. All right, next spot. Curve ledge, manual pad. I'm gonna give it a 9.3 because if you had runway or run up, however you wanna say it, to go this way, it would have been 10 out of 10, but it's, it's mostly one way. I tried to tell the other guys, hey guys, come on over here, have some fun. Nobody's about it, so I've been tasked with skating over here. I'm gonna have a good time doing it. Probably just gonna jinx myself, probably gonna body slam, but you know what? All right, so Uzi, instead of skating the bowl traditionally, what he's doing is he's using it as a launch ramp because there's a gap right here that he can air over, and he's trying to channel his inner vert skater and show you guys how it's done. Hold on, hold on. Whoa! I feel like a little kid who like barely knows how to skate, just airing, but you know what? It's fun, so I don't care. Almost had to say a few words for you, Mo. <laughs> hey, when you escape it, all you can do is laugh. My skill on this is a one. My fun on this is 10. Okay. Made me have fun. All right, Mowgli, we officially have two obstacles left. One here and one over there, but we're gonna go to the biggest one first. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six giant stair with the massive hubba and the even more massive hubba on this side. I'll, I'll let Chris handle this because I feel like he'll do a Manny or a Nose Manny, like straight off. Uh, I want to hit the hubba real quick just to like feel off the vibes. You what trick are you thinking? 50-50, like, you know, go with your basic. Kyra would always say that. He's like, start off with the basics. Look way smaller from far away. Holy. <laughs> he did it! Yeah! Oh! I hey. summon the motivation. Hey, wh what Pokemon you want? If you land it right here, I'll trade you any Pokemon you want. Oh, what? Yeah. Exactly. As soon as you get the game, first level, I'll give you whatever Pokemon you want. The heck, that's kind of cheating. Hey, buy me the game if I get it right here. Let's try. Okay. I'll pitch in halfway. All right, I'm really? down with that. I'll yeah. down with that. All right. 50-50 yeah. split. Hey, wait, we got a... Trinity. Right here. Mowgli and I will split the game right now if you land it. Oh, my God. Hey, we got played. Oh. How about... Nah, I was about to say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got... We're good. We're good. Oh! I tried. I knew he was gonna land that. I knew he was gonna land that. I knew he was gonna land that. I think I heard Gabe say if we got it back to back. Yeah, on that on that try. Yeah. Okay. Dude. Yeah. Oh, they did yes. get it back to back. <laughs> the last spot. Wait, wait. You gotta rate it. Oh, actually, this is a perfect stair set. The stairs alone is a solid seven. But then you have two different obstacles. I, honestly, if this was in the middle and then there was two shootout ledges, 10. But because you have to choose either going straight backside for myself or going down front side, I have to just put an eight. Good rating. All right, well, the, this is my 10. This spot is a 10. You may be wondering why. This is the most street it gets at this park. Let's get the trick. You need some wax, right? <laughs> no rollaway! <laughs> look at that! That's I'm, street. Look at that! I'm on not even on flat surface. What is this? Oh, 
Oi! You want to do the honor? All right. Just remember, the best obstacle at the skate park is the one that you personally enjoy and have the most fun on. It doesn't need to be the perfect seven step. It doesn't need to be the very long curve. It can just be a terrible, terrible, chunky piece of concrete right there. And I think that's my favorite obstacle. 10 out of 10, 1,000 out of 10. That's good. All right, everyone, that was our comprehensive tour of San Ramon Skate Park. Do you agree with our ratings? What would you rate this park yourself? I want you to leave it in those comments below. There's some videos right there. Go ahead and check them out. Subscribe, like, leave those comments below. And we got one final trick for you. Yeah!